Hey, fellow Mathers, before we get into this episode, we want to share with you how you can get access to free content, professional learning that will keep your students engaged and doing the math that matters. Get ready to go to this link, mathisfigureoutable.com slash challenge. That's right. Registration is open for the free Math is Figure Outable challenge that's starting May 15th and runs to the 17th at 7 p.m. Central. We're going to have three nights jam-packed with learning and routines that you can take straight to your classroom. In these challenges, we have a great time. We do some math, talk about classroom experiences, give away super cool bonuses and prizes. You won't just walk away with routines that are naturally engaging and encourage your students to think mathematically. You'll also have a chance to win over 6 k worth in prizes, including a few virtual PD sessions for your school. I'll be joined by my wonderful co-host, Kim, and special guest, Jenna Laib. You can register at mathisfigureoutable.com slash challenge for a fantastic learning experience. That's mathisfigureoutable.com slash challenge. Now on to the show. Hey, fellow mathematicians. Welcome to the podcast where math is figureoutable. I'm Pam Harris. And I'm Kim Montague. And this episode is a math strat chat episode. What is Math Strat Chat? Well, every Wednesday evening, I throw out a math problem on social media. People from all around the world chat about the strategies they use. It is super cool to see everyone's thinking. Okay, so this Wednesday, our math problem was 1,323 divided by 27. How would you solve this problem? Go ahead and pause the podcast and solve it any way you want. The problem is 1,323 divided by 27. Solve it and then come back to hear how we solve it. All right, Kim, I think you go first today. I'm curious what you're thinking about. Go. Okay. Um, I'm going to say, actually, the first thing I thought of was 1350. Um, So I said to myself, 127s is 2700. And then if I half that and get 50 27s, that gets me to the 1350. That Do you just know that? Do you just know that half? You just know that half of 2700 is 1350? Yeah, I don't know why. Okay. I guess it comes from knowing half of 27 is 13 and a half. Mm, nice. So then I was at 1350 is 50 27s, and then um, it's just 27 less. So one less 27 is 49 27s. So your your final answer is 49. 49, yep. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. All right, since you did that, I'm going to play a little bit around a little bit with equivalent ratios. I'm okay. thinking about... 13, I don't know that I would have done this off the bat, but let's play a little bit. Okay. So thinking about 1323 divided by 27 as 1323 27ths. So I'm kind of Mm -hmm. looking at a fraction and I'm saying to myself, can I find an equivalent fraction? And I'm noticing 27 is just this brilliant three times three times three. So there's lots of threes in 27 and I'm looking at 1323 and uh, I added the digits together because I happen to know if you add the digits together. Uh, and, and, and I can understand that, but I'm not going to really go through that today. But if I add the digits together, it's divisible by three. The, if that sum is divisible, divisible by three, then the number is divisible by three, but also nine. And so if I add those together, what is that? That's nine. And so uh, like if I add the one, three, two, three together, that's nine. And so that's divisible yeah. by three and nine. So um, 1323 is divisible by both of them. So now I just get to like play with, do I want to try dividing by three? Do I want to try dividing by nine? I'm going to go ahead and divide by nine um, because then I think I might get there a little quicker. So if I'm thinking about 1323 divided by nine, I'm going to break that up into numbers that I know. So 1,323 is equivalent to 900 because that's super nice to divide by nine plus what would be left over 423. So I've got 900 divided by nine plus 423 divided by nine. 900 divided by nine is 100. And 423 divided by 9 is, let me think for a second, that would be like 450 divided by 9. Like 423 is close to 450. How close? Ooh, just 127 close. Mm -hmm. So I kind of have 450 divided by 9, subtract 27 divided by 9. So that's like 50 subtract, um, wait, 450 divided by 9 is 50. Mm-hmm. And 27 divided by 9 is 3. What am I doing wrong? So I should be getting 49. 
Um, oh, it's just 127, right? 450. No. You went by you went by nines. Yeah. So you're at 450. So then wouldn't one nine less be 441? <laughs> Oh, you, you, um, oh, sorry. I was writing. When you said you're doing a curl ratios, I started doing one. (laughs) And I was, you were messing, you're not even listening to me. That's fantastic. (laughs) Because I think I'm, uh, no, I just think I'm losing my mind here a little bit. Hang on. Let me just think for a second. I'm trying to do 1323 divided by 27. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But instead I, 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 blah, 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 blah. I'm doing two things at once is I think is what my head's doing. So I'm yeah. going to actually write down what I'm, so 1323 divided by 27, I can think of as 1323 divided by nine and 27 divided by nine. So I can end up with something to all divided by three. You're right. And so I had that hundred plus 47, 147 divided by three is what I ended up with, which is indeed 49. There you go. I don't know if you followed that. I, it's, I finally followed it on my paper. <laughs> it's excellent. You know, you you said that um, it might be, I don't remember the words you said, but you wanted to um, remove the nines or simplify by nine. Mm-hmm. Divide um, out nines. To, thank you. Divide out nines uh, because it was more. But I actually wonder in this case if threes would have then left with numbers that you recognized. Ah, nice. Like, keep like it had a couple like, of numbers that were a little bit funky. Yeah. Like, do you want to say more about that? Well, so I wrote down when you were, when you were talking out, I wrote down 1323, uh, 27ths like you did. Mm-hmm. But then when I divided out the threes, that was 441 ninths. And then you got to that same 450 ninths that you did. Uh, mm. You know, you, you was near there. And then you're kind of done. Yeah. Because it was just one nine away. I have no idea if people listening to that could have followed any of that. Um, no, but hey, it was fun for us. So hopefully <laughs> y'all enjoyed that a little bit. And we can't wait to hear your math strategy. I wonder if it was like one of ours, if you could follow ours, uh, or something entirely different. Represent your thinking and take a picture of your work <laughs> or screenshot your phone and tell the world on social media. And while you're there, check out what other people did and our favorite, comment on other people's thinking. Y'all, I'm having a blast uh, reading your strategies that you're that you're posting. So tag yep. me when you post them on Twitter at, at PW Harris or Instagram, Pam Harris underscore math or Facebook, Pam Harris author of mathematics education and use the hashtag math strat chat and make sure you check out the next math strat chat problem that we'll post every Wednesday around 7 p.m. Central time and then hop back here to hear how we're thinking about the problem. We love having you as part of the Math is Figure Outable movement. Let's keep spreading the word that math is figure outable. Thank you for listening and making math more figure outable. To learn even more, make sure you register for our free challenge at mathisfigureoutable.com slash challenge. You are not going to want to miss the evenings of May 15th through 17th, starting at 7 p.m. Central. Math teaching, math teaching, go register now. That's mathisfigureoutable.com slash challenge. Join us to make math more and more figure outable. And if you can't join live, register and we'll send you access to the recordings. We'll see you there.